Hi, welcome to my channel. How are you doing today? I hope you are doing fine from whichever part of the world you are watching this video from. I hope you are doing okay. So, my name is Dr. Luben and I make videos basically I give medical advice on certain topics. I also create a kind of a public awareness on some of the diseases that people should be careful with lifestyle and all of that. So, from time to time I give some relationship advice but in this video I will talk about four things you should try to avoid when you are trying to reduce your belly fat. So, I know it has been a very common and something that most people are aware of in the sense that we live in a world where people are being judged mostly on the internet. So, everybody wants to slay, everybody wants to look attractive, but some people, can, they cannot just help. So, four things you can do to reduce your belly fat or four things you could do or to avoid. Yeah, avoid basically if you want to reduce your belly fat. So if you are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, you can support me and also turn on the notification bell so that anytime I release a video like this, you can follow up. So let's get into the video. The first thing on the line is you have to avoid eating late at night. So it's very important that most people who are trying to reduce their belly fat know these things. You don't have to eat too uh, late at night or even if you want to eat something like that, it shouldn't be heavy food. It should be something that is very light because not only would it kind of make it difficult for your belly fat to, to go, it will kind of still implicate in other areas of your life. So you could have other complications that could come from you eating late at night, not just your belly fat. The second thing is you need to avoid foods that have high level of cholesterol, most especially the bad cholesterol. Now there is high density lipoproteins, which is the, the good cholesterol, and also low density lipoproteins and very low density lipoproteins. The high density is the one that is good. They call it the good cholesterol, the good lipoproteins. Meanwhile, the low density or very low density lipoproteins are bad for the health. So if, if there's any food that you know you eat a lot that contains this type of food, you have to reduce it. I'm not saying you should completely stop it, but you should reduce it if you want to see positive results and try as much as possible not to abuse this food. The third one, which is very important, is your alcohol intake. Now, a lot of people enjoy taking alcohol and some people abuse it and then some people take it just for recreational purposes. If you are the type of person who over drinks or who is a heavy drinker, you should avoid that because alcohol contains some gases, most especially the type of beverages and, and drinks that we take these days contain some gases that have an effect that could even distance the stomach, it could make the stomach to become a little more bigger, right? So that would be difficult if you are trying to reduce your bed or your fat bed or your belly fat. You have to reduce the amount of alcohol you take. Now, like I said before, not only will this help you um, specifically in your belly fat, it will also help you in other areas of your life. So if you reduce the amount of alcohol you take, that will help also, you know, be of good to your system. If you abuse alcohol, it could be harming or destroying your system that you might not probably hold. Aside from the fact that you could you have your belly fat, which would be difficult to make you The fourth one, which is last but not least, you drink water most times instead of gas uh, carbonated drinks or drinks that have a lot of, you know, most of these processed drinks or processed food. Now, most people, when they do exercise, whenever you've done exercise, it is not wise for you to take um, a beverage or um, coffee or if you take uh, Pepsi or Coke. No, it's, it's not advisable you do that. The best liquid or fluid that should go into your body after exercise is water. So avoid taking most of these carbonated drinks after you've done exercise or during strenuous exercise. Now, I might understand the, there's a lot of Sometimes there's, there's this kind of um, good feeling you get by taking these drinks. They are mainly for recreational purposes, not doing exercise or doing strenuous uh, or workout or something like that. So try your best to avoid drinking carbonated drinks or most of this processed food when you are doing workout. If you are doing your workout, you need water because remember, you are sweating, you are giving out fluid and the only best possible way to replenish your body with that fluid you are giving out is by taking water not carbonated drinks or coke or pepsi or none of that if you do that 
it will actually cause a lot of toxicity to your system most especially when you are done doing exercise and that really wouldn't be something you, you, you want to do and that wouldn't be cool at all so these are the four tips that i have that you should try to avoid when you're trying to reduce your know, belly fat now i'll just give a bonus tip if you want to reduce your belly fat one of the great ways you could do that is through exercise now although some people have a type of belly fat that cannot be reduced by exercise reason being that the tissues that store fat in the stomach they call the adipose tissue they, it's been called adipose tissue i mean and these adipose tissue store fat so there's a form of fatty acid they can store that it becomes difficult to be burned or be converted into energy in terms of exercise to, to produce energy so that becomes very difficult for this type of fat to be burnt through exercise they are sometimes they are needed to be removed through surgery so most people who are obese that have a lot of these fats they want to do surgery to surgically remove those fat so if you have that kind of belly then exercise might not really be the best option for you then surgery might possibly be the best option for you to try out and then reduce your belly fat so thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed the video if you are new to this channel subscribe don't forget also turn on the notification bell so that anytime i release a video like this you can follow up do also check out some of my videos i'll drop a link to some of my videos i usually upload i upload videos like this weekly so if you are new and then you subscribe definitely every week you can see a video like this and then if you have any topic you want me to talk about you can leave that in the comment section or you can send me a mail to my email Definitely reply. Thank you for watching.